Purple Pig, yeah. Purple Pig, oh yeah. Purple Pig, oh yeah. Purple Pig, a Purple Pig, a Purple Pig, a Purple Pig, yeah. What's going on, everyone? Dreamcast84 here. We got Dino Crisis today. Now, this game is a survival horror game made by Capcom. I believe Capcom made some other survival horror games that you might know. So, this is to be compared to the infamous Resident Evil series. Uh... You know, I keep talking about Resident Evil, and I'm not even a, the biggest fan. I, I always get stuck in these type games. But uh, Dino Crisis, does this game stand out in a certain way? Is it like Jurassic Park because there's dinosaurs? Um, obviously has a dark thematic premise. So, Dino Crisis, you get to play as some redhead chick, and you get to check out dinosaur stuff. So, I don't know, uh, is this the game of the lifetime? I don't know. Let's drink some coffee and find out. I have successfully infiltrated under the guise of a researcher as planned. I have encountered no information regarding top secret development of new type weapons. But I have discovered there is an unexpected individual at this facility. This is the first checkpoint. Playtime is officially over, kiddies. Something's wrong. The lights in the guardhouse are out. Rick can handle the inside of the facility on his own. Some of your handiwork, right? Hmm. The brass is still warm. These guards were shooting at something very recently. So who were they fighting? This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there and ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean. But I still say you could have done this. Very funny. We still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area.
progress going with that security system? I don't know what's been going on here, but it looks like all the power in this facility has been cut. Same here. As long as that's the situation, there's not a lot I can do. Why don't you see if you can gain access to the backup generators on the ground level? I'm on it. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. By the way, I found a key. Hand it over. Let's head outside. This game is another survival horror game. We already knew that. I think that for a game that is sort of in the same vein as Resident Evil, this one holds up pretty good. This one's pretty good. I think that it's a game that probably deserves looking up a walkthrough and looking into it because it looks really cool. I, I, you know, it's, it's better than Carrier. Uh, it's disputable whether or not it's better than, uh, you know, Blue Stinger, or it's probably better than Alone in the Dark, but for these types of games, I'm not necessarily a fan, but I can see how somebody might want to get into it, and I kind of do. Uh, I, you know, if I had more free time, I'd like to look into Dino Crisis just to see the cutscenes and stuff, because it looks like what's happening is kind of interesting. And, yeah, personally, um... You know, I give it more of a 5.5 or a 6, but I'd give it a 6.5 for the review. I think that uh, this game is to be recommended for the survival horror enthusiasts out there. It looks solid. It was ported on, uh, I believe, PS1, PS2, something like that. But uh, this game, yeah, I think yeah, it's made by Capcom. It's going to be a good game, I think, uh, if you're a fan of the Resident Evil series. So, Oh, when it comes to dinosaurs, there's another dinosaur-themed game coming up so get geared up for that one right on uh dino crisis dreamcast 84 thanks for watching yeah!